Hello, people. Get up to any paintings that you've got, anything you want to work on while you watch my video. I have got a different kind of video that I normally don't do on my channel, but I thought it's very important that uh, everybody should know how to do this, even for the new people. So, what I have done is I got my old paint diamonds, okay, in my containers. I'm going to show you how to kit down a painting, and I'm going to show you how to kit up a painting. Which means when you kit down a painting, you take all your diamonds from your old painting, and you take them out of your container, and you... <coughs> some people keep them, some people just throw them away. I throw them away. I have no reason to keep them. Because Diamond Art Club, if you have a problem, they'll send you new ones. So it's no reason to keep them. But some people do. Um, that's just your preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to kit down it. Show you a little bit of how to kit down a uh, painting. Then I'm going to show you how to kit up a painting. Look at this. This is a big painting. Now I've done an unboxing of this painting. If you want to go through my channel and find this painting. Um, I'll have the title in the description of my painting for this. Um, but yeah, this has got 65 colors. Doesn't mean that just because it's got 65 colors that every color in here is different. I could have three, three sets of blacks, two sets of whites, three sets of reds. You just don't know. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to tell you which painting and how I got this painting. Now, I have quite a few diamond paintings, which I've also done a video on that. But uh, I had a hard time deciding which one to do. So what I did is, I went to my app store, I got a wheel, it's called, it, it's actually a, wheel, a spinning wheel. And you put in all your paintings, which I put in all my square paintings, because this is a square, by the way. Um, and I uh, let it spin, and this is the one it chose. So it chose Best if Fireplace. So I guess I'm doing a Christmas painting, because that's what it chose. So, it is a 38.6 inch by 27.6 inch, 98 times 70 centimeters. So, as we can see, it's a big painting. So, now, for you new people who don't understand what kitten up is and kitten down is, we're going to get into a little bit of that, and I'm going to show you a little more of how you kit up and kit down your paintings. Now, some paintings you get from Diamond Art Club now, the new ones, make it a lot easier and faster to kit these up than the old paintings. You still have the sticker from the old paintings, which I've got here, okay? But the new painting, you just peel and stick. This one, I'm gonna have to cut each one individually and put on here as I kit down and kit up. So, I'm gonna show you. Here's the painting it picked. Okay, here's the painting from, it's from Dominic Davidson. It's his Christmas one, see? Yes. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the diamonds out, my square diamonds, and get that ready. And the other thing I like too about Diamond Art Club is they always have right here this little sticker just in case you want to put your uh, painting with somewhere else and put your diamonds somewhere else. You'll always know which diamonds go with what paintings. So now, if you don't like the crinkling sound of me undoing my 
diamonds. You can either fast forward or hold your ears or mute your phone or whatever you're watching me on until I'm done. Oh, and while I'm at it, before I go and undo my second one, if it's got two sets of diamonds like this, it'll also say two of two and two of one. So you, so you don't get confused as to where the other part is. Now let's see if I can undo this one. Okay. Okay, we are done. I have a trash can next to me, which you can't see. So I can, when I pick this up, I can throw my stuff away instead of making a mess. So, first off, we're going to take this off and take, put that over there and put that over there. And I'm going to show you. Here's the painting. Look how big it is. It takes up almost all of my middle of my table. Yes. So, this is going to be a very huge painting, but I think it's going to turn out wonderfully. Now, we like confetti, which means every other number is different. Like, this square is a color, and you got to switch over to this color, and then you got to switch over to this color. Now, color blocking means when you've got a section but yay big, doesn't have to be very big, like here, you got all these tubes. That's color blocking. So that means you can take your pen and do multi-placing. But it looks like in this painting, I'm going to be doing a lot of color blocking. So, that's going to be fun. Now, how was, how was your day, how's everybody's day going? Mine went wonderfully. I went to work and I had plenty to do today. It was really nice. Um, nice day. Ni nice work day. Um, time flew by fast. Um, came home. After I got home, I got the mail and Got some stuff that I ordered in the mail. I uh, just got done having supper. Now I thought I'd sit down and make this video for you, with you guys. So, let's get into the start of unkitting this box because I'm going to need these containers. So, we're going to take it and go one by one. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one. Okay? And we're going to take it and I'm going to throw it in the trash. Okay. Now I'm going to take the sticker off. Okay. And throw that in the trash. Now here comes the fun part. Okay. What I'm going to do is, since we're at number one, and what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I'm going to do, if I can do it. Okay. We're going to find number one, which might take me a little bit here because I don't know where they're at. Okay, I'm going to undo and find one. Okay, like I said, see, even though there's quite a lot here, these two go together. So that's what I'm saying. A lot, a lot of what I see in here is double. So we're going to look for number one and I still haven't found number one. Yep. Number one is an A B, which I'll explain that to you in just in just a minute. Okay. I'll explain that to you in just a minute as soon as I find one. Number one Okay, I found it. Right here. Okay. 
which is P, K. And what that AB means, um, anything that's under 150 is considered an AB, which is Aurora Borealis, which means it makes, and I'll show you an example. I'll cut this one and show you the example. Okay. See how this one sparkles? Okay. See how it sparkles? Okay. Now, see how these sparkle a little shinier? Yeah, that's what the AB is. It makes this one sparkle a little bit shinier because this one's shiny. So that's what that is. So now we're going to take my one, put it there. Okay, so now what we want to do is take and find number one on here. Okay, and cut it out. And I got to do that to every single number I got. Yes, this is going to take a while. But once I get this done, it will be nice. So, hope you guys had a wonderful day. Um, how's, how's the weather your way? It, is a, it was a blister in five degrees. Five degrees when I went to work this morning. And when I left work today at 2.30, it was a blister in cold, windy. Yes, it was windy and very cold. I will be so glad when spring comes. I am just so over this winter already. Then I got a picture of my grandkids. Well, one of them, because my daughter babysits. So it was one of her, the kids that she babysits with. They were doing upside down, I don't know what you call it, trying to do handstands with their butts up in the air. Yeah. I, I have got, as you say, crazy, 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 crazy grandkids. Yes. It, they're, 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 I love them to death, but sometimes they're like, what the heck are they doing? Yeah. So, that was my day. Now, I'm glad tomorrow's Friday, because... At the moment, and I don't know when I'll be going, hopefully next week, but my husband works afternoons, so he's at work right now. So, because he's at work, I'm at home, we don't see each other, and I'll be glad for the weekend so we can spend some time together. Even though it's just staying at home and doing nothing, we're still together. So. Now, the next thing you want to do for you new people is take your diamonds and pour them into your container. Now, the other thing is you don't actually have to have a container. You can just, if you, you know, don't want to spend a lot of money right away and you just want to see if you like doing this and you don't want to go out and buy a lot of stuff, you can actually, right out of this, and all you got to do is just peel it back and do, use a little bit of tape when you're not doing it, and you're good to go. So, yeah. So, the weekend, we don't do much because it's so cold here. We just stay home, and he goes grocery shopping on Fridays, and does a few other things, but I don't like going out when it's really cold. Unless we go to my daughter's, and she only lives 10 minutes away from us to see my grandkids. Sometimes we like going over there and spending time with her. And sometimes the grandkids will call up and say, Grandma, Grandpa, can you come over? And we're like, ah, sure. So we go over there to visit with them and have fun and play games and stuff with the grandkids, which I would do anything for them. I just, I just love my grandkids. 
Um, but lately, it's just been so cold that, you know, I don't really want to go out. And my daughter, we decided, you know, because last Monday was a holiday, that Sunday we had, uh, you know, they came over and had uh, stuff with us and we had cheeseburgers, fries, and we also had tater tots, which the kids ate very well. Yes, my grandkids, they ate. They love grandma's uh, hamburgers. So, they came over for a while last weekend and we had some fun and I enjoyed their company. But my grandson, sometimes he gets into a mood and we know it's nap time. So they left and they went home and no sooner got home and somebody fell asleep. He uh, goes to uh, uh, preschool and my uh, daughter, Sent me, sent, showed me a picture the other day. He, uh, I guess preschool makes him really tired. So he was sitting on the couch and he fell asleep. Covered up in a blanket, fell asleep. Yeah, he fell asleep on, on the floor or on the couch. But he is just the cutest thing. And he is a big, Train fanatic. Train and cars. Yes, he loves his trains and he loves his cars. So, yeah. So, this is how I kit up. Normally, I would take and cut each one and then I would put in a pile by number. But I'm just showing you how to keep up a painting. But we found another one. Like I said, anything under 150 is an AB. Now, I hope you guys are having a lot warmer weather than me. I, this, this, this weather and I am just, like I said, so over it that I'll be so glad when I can have my windows open, don't have to wear a coat, don't have to bundle up just to go to work, then have to unbundle, work all day, then bundle yourself back up with 20,000 layers of clothes just to come home. Yeah. And it's been snowing here. Not that bad. Just enough to have a dusting, you know? But one of these days I'm afraid I'm gonna wake up or go to work and go outside or wake up and go outside and there's gonna be a ton of snow. Yeah, ton of snow. So, yeah, I just, I, not into this being bundled up and having to have our heat on and I'm more of a fall kind of person where I love the fall where it's no jacket but a sweater uh, I love the colors I love I just love everything about it you know pumpkin pie you know fall is my kind of uh, weather. Um, so here's the question. Write it in the, in the comments. What's your favorite color for fall? And what's your favorite drink for the fall? And what's also is you may not like the fall, which is fine. If you like the spring, tell me. 
Spring is my favorite. And what kind of drinks do you like in the spring? Like, do you like uh, lemonade? And do you like, is there a certain type of food you like when, you, when spring comes around? Just write in the comments. If you like spring, fall, winter, and what kind of food associates with what, what you like for the type of season. Me, I'm a fall girl. I like the smell of firewood. I grew up on a farm and we had a fireplace and I just love the, the firewood smell and the pumpkin pie, sweet potatoes. I just, that's, that's it for me. Fall is my go-to. It's just in between, you're not too hot, you're not too cold, and the leaves are starting to fall. So you can rake up the leaves, you can burn the leaves, or rake them up, as my kids used to do. And then we would jump in the leaves. So, That's what my kids did when they were kids, which they're not kids anymore. My son, I don't live with me anymore. My uh, daughter has my grandkids, which she's 10 minutes away. My son is about a half hour from me. He lives just a half hour south of me. So 20, 25 minutes it takes me to get there. So, um, I'm just ecstatic when I, when I see my son, I don't see him that often. And if you put my family together, me, my husband, my daughter, and my son, I'm the shortest. My husband's 5'9", my son's 6'2", my daughter's about 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, she's she's kind of short, she takes after her mother, but she's still taller than her mother, and she always says, She's short. Yes, she is short, but she's still taller than her mother. I always tell her that. So, she, uh, so, you look at us and you'd be like, where the heck did they get the height? Well, if you want to know, their dad, okay, ha um, his dad, was six too. So I think they got it from their dad's side, which was their grandfather. So, yeah. Um, they uh, got the height from their dad. So, I mean, granted, my mom was 5'7. My, my dad was 5'9. So, you know, they've got tallness on, really on both sides of the family. Me now, I had to go and skip a generation and take after my grandmother, who was the tallest in her family at five foot. So, me and my cousins, there's, I have three cousins, this was my mom and her brother. And her brother had three kids, which is my uncle. He uh, had three kids, so I have three cousins. So what we always used to do is we always used to go to my grandmother because she was short and we'd always measure the height of how tall we were by how tall she was. And we all got ecstatic and we all would say, oh, we're taller than grandma. And uh, grandma knew that we enjoyed, you know, and she enjoyed it. it. She had nothing wrong with her height. It's just we all liked to measure our, how tall we were to her. So she uh, she loved it. But uh, yeah, we kind of miss her now. My kids always used to call her grandma with the bird because every time we'd call her or we'd go see her, she, she had a bird. So it would always be grandma with the bird. And then my mom and dad, they would always call me Mama Papa. It's a southern thing. I don't know where they got it, but that's what they always called my mom and dad, which my step, which would be my stepdad. Um, but uh, 
like I said, my real dad was 5'9", my stepdad was 6'2", but that don't count. And then my stepbrother, he had two kids, twin boys, and I still feel short because he's 6'2", his wife is tall, and my nephews are tall. So it's like... I feel short in this family. Even on his side of the family, it's like, you know, really, I am pretty much shortest. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just me and my shortness. So, but yeah, it's all right. I'm used to it. I'm used to my son. I was making jokes about me being short, but then I always make tall jokes about him. You know, like I would always tell him, this. he always told me I'm short, you know, and he'd make jokes about it, but then I'd always turn around and say, yeah, but when it rains, you could be my umbrella. And, you know, and he kind of laughs. We're one of those that we get along really well together, so, yeah. But, not much has happened this week. I just back and forth to work, you know, a little house cleaning and cleaned my stove today, cleaned my fridge today, or I mean my uh, sink, so I got that done. Like I said earlier, I made supper. Uh, not much else, just been catching up on my shows that I, uh, on my show that I uh, have been watching while my husband's not here. Who is into, and speaking of shows, who is into Grey's Anatomy? I know my daughter is. She's the one that got me into it. Well, if you've seen all the episodes, and if you haven't, hold your ears because there's something I got to say that, uh, I was not happy. Derek Shepard, in the last episode I watched, got killed. Because, I think, if the doctors weren't stupid, and I'm going to say stupid on the show, uh, did what they were supposed to do, he would have lived. But, yeah. They went one way on treating me, which they should have went another way, and because they went the wrong way, he died. Well, I wasn't happy. I like his character. Of course, I like the guy who plays the character, too. I always have. But, yeah. So now, I gotta watch more episodes to see what's going on because it's getting really good and I just I don't know I blame it on my daughter it's her fault she got me into grays and I just I'm hooked now another show that I think is really good that's on Netflix and I don't know if, if you guys ever remember The Karate Kid. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to advise you. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to. But, I think you should watch Cobra Kai. It is really getting good. It's going on its fifth season. And, they're, they do a lot of flashbacks to the... Um, Karate Kid, and you know, all three Karate Kids, and yeah, I, that's one show too that uh, I kind of talk to the show, and I kind of scream at the show, because there's certain characters that, you know, are like, why are you doing that? Can't you leave him alone? You know, it's like, or, you know, the bad guy, Mr. Crease. I was kind of yelling at him there for a while because of what he was doing. And, you know, 
and yelling at other people who were being stupid. Yeah. I am one of those, as they call it, people that uh, my husband will be looking at me going, what the heck you do? He says, well, I'm yelling at the TV. You know, these people are being stupid, you know. And he's like, and he'll look at me and go, but they can't hear you. I'm like, I don't care. I'm just making my frustration out on these people. You know, it's like, there was a show I was watching, which was Survivor. I don't watch it anymore. But when I used to watch it, I used to tell people, even it's true when I used to watch Big Brother, that uh, I'm looking at these people going, haven't you seen these shows before? You know what's going to happen. It's the same on every single time they film this show. These people, it's the same thing. They're going to get out, they're going to go out to backstab you. I'm like, yeah, it's, and I'm looking at these people and I'm going, you're listening to these people and they're telling stories on Survivor, you know, being friends with this one person, then they go be friends with somebody else, and as they're being friends with somebody else, they're backstabbing the first person. And I'm looking at them all going, can't you figure this out? It's been this way since season one. How many of you watched the show before? You know, and sometimes I just think they're all stupid. You know, it's like, yeah, they're going to get on the show. And then they're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to watch Survivor 200 and they're all going to backstab each other. It's just the way it is. You already know that. You know, you can't trust anybody. So I'm always yelling at the people. Yeah. I used to watch Amazing Race, but that one... It was okay, but this year with COVID, I felt sorry for a lot of the people. They uh, went to do the amazing race, some of the couples, and they had to stop because of COVID. And because they had to stop, when they started filming again, some of the couples couldn't even go back because of their jobs and they had other things that they had to do. So they got, you know, which wasn't fair. It's like you you apply for a survive or for amazing race, turn around, you get on it, you start filming it, and then you have to stop because of COVID. You can't, you know, then when you do film again, you can't they can't go back. So yeah, it's just I think it's very unfair for the for the ones that don't even get a chance to finish out the amazing race. You know. I I just think they, the way they did it, I think a lot of with all this, what's going on, I think they should uh, wait till, you know, it's about when they think it's really, really safe to do it so that the uh, other family, any families can have a chance to do it and not have to say, well, I can't come back because, you know, I've got, kids got school and I've got uh, work to get back to. Yeah. I just think they did it all wrong. And it wasn't fair to a lot of the couples that did it. Yeah. It's just not fair. So, as you can see, while I'm doing this, this is what I'm doing. It's called kitten down. I'm, I'm just throwing away all my diamonds. And I'm taking the stickers off, as you can see. Um, and then I'll start filling up these little think containers. Now, while we're on the subject of containers, there is a whole bunch of different kinds of containers that you can get. You got like the Elizabeth Wards. You've got, you know, Amazon has a whole bunch. I just like these, and these come in 25, comes in a package of 25, which is 24 of these, which is 24 of these, and these, and then you got a container, you put them in. 
Well, Harbor Freight, that's what these are. They're from Harbor Freight, okay? I watched a girl, I can't remember who it was, but there was a video that she had done where she took two of these containers and took them out of the container that they were in and put them into this big container from Harbor Freight. So then you've got, instead of having two or three small containers, you've got one big container, which I thought was a wonderful idea. So that's what I did. I went to Harbor Freight, got a big container. That way, now I can get up, and I'll show you that in a little bit here. I can get up a small or a square, and I can get up a round. So if I get tired of doing square, I can do a round for a little bit and go back and forth. So here's my other question for you guys. And write in the comments. How many kits do you guys have kitted up at this moment? I have two so far. Well, I have a, this is from Diamond Art Club, but I have a craftably that I'm doing that uh, came in uh, little bags. So you don't even have to kit them up, they're already kit up for you. Some, if you, if you, if you order from Factably, or there's another place, I can't think of it right now, that uh, you order from, their kits come bagged up already. So that's another way that you guys don't have to, uh, um, you don't have to worry about kitting up your diamonds. They're just right out of the bag. All you gotta do is just put the stickers on and ready to go, which is nice. But I prefer, I mean, if it's in a baggie, I'll do it. But if it's not, I prefer using something like this or the Elizabeth Ward or, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of the bags because they feel cheap and easy to tear and I don't really want to lose any of my diamonds because you never know. I mean, granted, right, you're going to have some bad diamonds as it is. When you look, you're going to have some bad, you know, that you don't want to use. But I have This way I can, you know, won't lose them or if they spill, you know, which I have done. I have spilled these and not lost any out of my containers. So as you can see, I'm almost done here, getting rid of all my diamonds. And the next thing is, I'll show you a couple more, kitten up, and then I'll let you guys go. I don't want to make this really long for you guys and boring. So we're going to finish, finish this and then I'll kit up a couple more and show you how I actually kit up, you know, how I actually do it. I'll show you my way, which will be Nice. And if you're watching this video, put in the comments what state you're from so I can see how many different states I can get to watch this video. I would love to know how many people, how many different states watch my videos. Because I'm kind of new on YouTube and I'm trying to get more followers. So. I'm trying to figure out, I do a lot of unboxings, and I'm trying to figure out what else you guys would like to see, so I can uh, get more content out there for you. So, I've done a couple unboxings, 
I did an unboxing, if you go to my channel, I did, I did an unboxing of a uh, light pad and the different size between an A4 and an A2 um, light pad. If you, you guys, that's something else that uh, I use on certain paintings. If the lighting's not real good, I uh, use a light pad to go underneath my uh, painting. So, you check that out, maybe you might want to get a light pad. Um, I've done a couple uh, stash videos, not going to brag it, just so that you can see what kind of paintings I, you know, like and whatnot. I'm more of a landscaper kind of person. I love landscapes like diamond, you know, like uh, Dominic Davidson and that kind of stuff. But lately, I've kind of gotten into the dragons on uh, having our club. But, yeah, just my day. Tomorrow, I'll wake up at 4.30 in the morning, roll out of bed at 5, and get ready to go to work, and I'll be home by, uh, I get off at 2.30, and then I'll be home around 3 tomorrow. So, yep. And then I'll be starting to work on this. So, that'll be nice. Almost done. I hope this is not too long for you guys. I'm going to do a couple more. Uh, show you how I kit up and then I'll let you guys go for the night. Yeah, just also as I was saying earlier, my husband works nights, you know, he works afternoons, he'll go in and work 3 to 11, and it just seems weird without him here, because we're usually together. We started out together, and then he went to afternoons, and I'm still trying to get on afternoons. Hopefully, maybe I'll find out tomorrow if I go next week, which will be nice. I mean... I'm not the type of person that likes to wait to go to work, but it's better than uh, getting up at 4, 4 30 in the morning. At least this way I can sleep in. Okay, guys, now here's the next thing we're going to do. As you can see, we've already got two kitted up. So, what I'm going to do, instead of trying to find the numbers, I'm going to take this. Take this, okay? And what I normally do, which I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to tell you what I normally do, is I'll take my container and my numbers and I'll do all of my containers, put them in there, and then when I do my diamonds, okay, I take like say here's a few in here now, okay? So say I find 906. Now I'll look for 906 through here. And I'll bring 906, you know, back out and fill it up. So that's how I do my uh, paintings. It's a lot easier if you have these already numbered. And then all you gotta do is just, whenever you start hunting for the number, you just, if it says 400, look for 400. What I do is, if it's two or three, like this one, I'll take the color and I'll cut it in half and I'll set one aside and then I'll put, and then I'll find the number in here for the other one. So, let's do another one so we can see 894. Let's look for 894. 894, which I found. Okay. Okay. 894. Okay. Alrighty. 
The only thing I don't like about this, about the, doing it this way, is that it's hard to get the sticker off the back. And it takes longer. But I'm glad that they finally realized that, that they want us to enjoy the painting more than having to kid up the kids. Okay, alrighty. So we'll put this on here. We'll put it on upside down. We almost did. We'll put that here. Okay. And then we'll take and put this color inside the container. Okay. Oh, and also, another thing that might be a good idea for you guys, while I'm thinking of it, if you got static on your diamonds, which means they stick together, go get a dryer sheet and cut up, cut up a little piece of dryer sheet and put it in here. And the dryer sheet's supposed to make it so that they're not, un, they're not uh, staticky anymore. So, that's another thing I forgot to tell you. So now, let's see, what number we got? We got 400. We're going to look for a 400. So we're going to go to 400 on here, which I found it. And we'll get 400. Fix it because I don't like the white piece on it. Okay, now we'll see if we can undo this. And another thing, too, that I found out, which I have some, um, the new kits that they're coming out with now, they're uh, bringing out new kits for. Uh, like this, your toolkit. They're bringing out new toolkits that uh, has a lot more stuff in it for your diamond painting. Not all, not all the paintings have them yet, but I do know most of the WB, order, the WB ones do. So, and then they're winging, winging the new ones in to a lot, we're trying to get rid of the old kit, tool kits, but they're also winging in some new tool kits in between. So you never know what you're gonna get. But I've gotten, a, I've gotten, you know, when I got some Harry Potter uh, paintings, I got them. But then I also got them with some, a couple older kits too. And they're also making their own. They used to out their diamonds, you know, have a company outside make their diamonds. They are now in housing their own diamonds. Just so you'll start start to see a difference on that too. So now this is how I kit up my uh, diamonds. Other people do it different, but usually I'll have all these numbered and set in here, okay? And then I'll go, whatever diamond I have, I'll find it throughout the diamonds. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because I don't want this to be any longer than it has to be. Um, so, and until my next video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you never know when I'm gonna post a video. I just posted one yesterday. You're never gonna you're never gonna know what kind of video I'm gonna post. You don't if you don't want to miss it. 
I could post one again tomorrow. I could post one, say, today, and then not till next week. You just never know. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, day, whatever time it is for you guys. And hope you stay safe and stay warm if it's cold where you're at. Or cool wherever it's, if you're warm, wherever you're at. Um, and until then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications as to when I'm going to have a video going up. And until my next video, bye.